What's up guys, welcome to a brand new video. I'm Ambassador Zimmy with the Xbox Ambassador Program and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to change your DNS server on your Xbox One console. Now, before we jump too far into this video, I just wanna say real quick that if you guys enjoy this video, if it helps you out, if you learn anything new, please make sure to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. Also, if you never wanna miss out on any of my Xbox tutorials, game trailers, or just general Xbox news, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. So why would you want to change your DNS on your Xbox console? The short answer is that it can sometimes increase your internet speeds. And then also with that being said, some DNS providers claim to be more secure and can even protect you from being DDoSed. Regardless of why you want to change your DNS server, I will be showing you how to do that in today's video. So let's just go ahead and jump into the steps. So to change your DNS on your Xbox One console, you will first have to press the Xbox button on your controller to open up the guide menu. Then scroll over here to the right hand side to the settings gear icon, come down and click on settings. Once the settings page loads up, over here on the left hand side where it says account, scroll down to where it says network, scroll over and click on network settings. Once the network page is opened up, go ahead and come down here to advanced settings and click on that. Then go ahead and come down to DNS settings and once again go ahead and click on that. Now it's going to give you two different options, automatic or manual. Automatic is basically going to make it where your Xbox is just going to go ahead and search for the best or what it thinks to be the best DNS um, that is available to you. Manual is actually going to allow you to type in whatever DNS you would like to type in. So if you're wanting to change it yourself, go ahead and click on manual. If you mess something up, just come right back here and click on automatic and it should fix up anything that you quite possibly broke. So whenever typing in a DNS, it's going to give you two different options, a primary and a secondary. This current DNS that I have set up on my Xbox is a free public DNS provided by Google, but I'm actually going to try out a brand new DNS that I seen Linus Tech Tips, his YouTube channel, use because I'm curious if it's going to make any changes here on the Xbox One console. If you're unsure of which DNS to choose, I would recommend you going to Google and typing in uh, public DNS server and it should pop up quite a few that you can choose from and just test them out and see which one uh, is, is going to be best for you. Uh, but for me, I'm actually going to go ahead and type in this brand new one. And if you want to, you can do this as well. You can use the same DNS that I am using as well. It's basically just uh, 1111. And then we're going to go ahead and submit that. And then for the secondary DNS, we're going to go ahead and type in 1001. We're going to go ahead and submit that. And now, as you can see in the center of the screen, under where it says DNS, my primary is now 1.1.1.1. And my secondary is 1001. So it has changed and I'm gonna go ahead and click the B button on my controller and everything is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. Now, if I wanted to check and see if this is actually changing my network speed, I could actually scroll over here and come down to detailed network statistics, click on that. And now it's going to go ahead and load up for about 30 seconds to a minute and it will tell me what my new internet speed is. Right here, you can actually see what my detailed network statistics are. My download is 116 megabits per second. My upload is 9.45 megabits per second. And that's usually where it, uh, it, it usually is at. My latency or ping is 68 milliseconds. This is pretty much usually where everything is at for me, but for some people, changing the DNS server can increase speed. It just depends where those specific DNS servers are located relative to where you live. Anyway, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please make sure to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. And also, if you guys never want to miss out on any of my Xbox tutorials, game trailers, or just general Xbox news, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if at any point in this video, it 
if you are confused of what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, or anything like that, if you have any questions regarding your Xbox connection or changing your DNS server, please just make sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below, and I'll get to it as quickly as I can. Like always, thank you guys so very much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace out, guys.